Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Blair or the Illuminati and today, well, I already hate today's topic. So those of you who've pretty much seen any of my MLM videos know that MLMs, especially those in the beauty realm, are notorious for targeting women, calling their products empowering, all while the Huns make maybe a couple hundred dollars a year if they make anything at all. We've seen Avon, Unique, Monat, Beachbody, and Pure Romance all do this, but this MLM today, Damsel in Defense, is a special kind of stupid. And I'll admit, today this video might just have a little bit more opinions in here because there isn't even really much to dive into. This company is just, just pushes all the buttons of things I don't like in an MLM and just puts it all together in one. So anyway, before I get a little too far ahead of myself, let's dive in and see exactly what this MLM, Damsel in Defense, is all about. Let's get into it. So who is or what is Damsel in Defense exactly? Well, it turns out they're an MLM that sells self-defense products for women to women specifically. And it was founded in 2011 by Mindy Lynn and Bethany Hughes. According to MLMcompanies.org, a website that gives a favorable view of MLMs out there, it says, Lynn and Hughes are two powerhouse women who combine creativity and marketing skills with business knowledge and planning abilities. In 2014, they paired up with Bob Hipple, their longtime consultant, and made him the CEO of Damsel in Distress. He's got decades of experience in MLMs as a big time seller, professional speaker, executive, and business consultant. By 2015, the company already had 10,000 consultants and had sold more than $19.5 million in products. If they know how to play the MLM game with a product like this, I can only see those numbers skyrocketing in years to come. Is there a market out there for defense products? Absolutely. Just by looking at the MLM numbers, we can see that. But Damsel in Defense, or Damsel as I might shorten it for namesake here, is combining a business practice, the pyramid scheme type business model that takes advantage of women with a product meant to empower and protect them. So. Excuse me for just being slightly confused here with how that's going to work exactly, but apparently this is the actual model. I love how the website says that it's not really a bad idea for an MLM and how they're surprised more people haven't thought of it. Like I'm absolutely all for people feeling safe when they go for a jog at night to a club, a shady area, or just having to walk home from work or whatever it might be. I myself carry pepper spray in my purse and I also have bear mace in my car, which I know, but if you need to get out of a situation, bear mace will save your ass at least. You know, I don't know, I haven't had to use it yet, but I don't want to ever find out. But selling safety products, targeting them towards women, being like, hey, protect yourself when you're going out somewhere, you're going on a date, you're riding home on the subway or something like, I think that's great. But an MLM selling it, I don't know, it kind of bothers me a little. I mean, think about it. Most of the time when an MLM is selling a product, we can find comparable and less expensive and sometimes more, well, sometimes most of the time, more effective products than what the MLM sells. And additionally, there also will be products that just, you know, don't exploit other Huns, other women, other men selling this product, whoever is selling this product. Like it's not exploiting those people either. So it's just, something just doesn't feel right here. According to Damsel's website, our mission is to equip, empower, and educate women to protect themselves and their families. Our Damsel pros are not only arming others and experiencing financial freedom, but are also offering empowerment and healing to those affected by assault. One by one, we are changing statistics and making a difference in the lives of those who've been assaulted. As we continue to grow, our hearts and eyes are wide open for where God will take us next. Whether you are a customer, a hostess, or an independent damsel pro, we thank you for being part of this journey. Well, I guess let's see how they do that and what they sell. So I headed over to the catalog and one of the first things I see are face masks. And I, I get it kind of at this point that it seems like everyone at this point is selling a face mask which is fine, I get it. We obviously need to wear face masks. Hint, hint, USA, we need to fucking get on that shit for real though. 
But like other companies that seem to not normally sell face masks and now are selling face masks, it's not like the biggest thing when you go to their website, right? Like if I go on Nordstrom, I'm not gonna immediately see stuff for a face mask. I'm gonna see what the shoe is or whatever that's trending. But I go to Damsel and the first thing I see is a face mask, but okay, sure, whatever. Anyway, so their next section was protect, fortify, wellness, and hold on, wait a second, wellness? This is about self-defense, right? This is not even a joke. <laughs> There's literally vitamins on this website. I, I thought their mission was to equip, empower, and educate women to protect themselves. So where the fuck do immunity vitamin C pills? Like wh what, what is that? Why, how is that gonna empower you to defend yourself or mega defense glow or whatever the fuck it's called? I'm sorry, I'm like, I must just be having one of those days where I could just give two shits and just, I've had it with this MLM stuff for the day. Why do all of them have to sell vitamins? Maybe it's because in my headphones while I'm recording right now, I'm literally listening like some old school JLo, like, come on, I'm real right now, featuring Ja Rule, like, come on. But whatever, anyway, that's totally a side note here. It's just fueling me and just giving me a little more attitude than normal, I think, when I'm recording. But like, if you're supposed to be selling self-defense, like, equipment, vitamins, Really? Damn, y'all really do be trying everything in 2021 and just seeing what sticks. Anyway, this is just out of hand. I feel like it's almost become a joke that you go to any MLM and all of a sudden they're selling vitamin C gummies and pills and shit, but on a self-defense MLM, really? Anyway, also infuriatingly enough, there's no ingredient list either, even though their website says sign up for a subscription now so you can, you know, pay for these to be shipped to you, but you know, you don't know what's in them really. So that's great, I guess. They don't show the back of the bottle. There's no little pop-up or the description at the bottom. Just nothing, just here are some pills, cause that's safe. Anyway, let's move on to what this company is supposed to be selling apparently, their defense products. So moving on, their third section is more of what I expected. It's stun devices. And personally, I have no idea how to carry around a 16 inch stun baton all day, but their little ringer stun device seems to be one of those products they're most well known for as far as I can tell. It's keychain adaptable, has a disable pin to prevent the gun from being used against you, a flashlight, a battery indicator, and 18 milliamps, and it costs uh, $82. And I don't know what a stun gun should cost or what they normally cost. So I obviously had to go online to figure out a sense of the price range. I found a store called Sabre, which I know and trust obviously because it's from the office. I'm sorry, that was, God, that was dumb. Anyway, uh, Sabre stun guns have some interesting information on their website. They say delivered charge is actually the measure of stun gun strength or micro columns, not voltage. Voltage is the force of an electrical current. They give the analogy of a water pipe and say that voltage should be the water pressure, whereas the charge is the total amount of water that flows through a pipe. So voltage is not an accurate measure of stun gun strength. Thankfully on Damsel's site, they aren't shouting, we have the highest voltage, but on their FAQ about how stun guns work, they don't explain any of this. I find it interesting that their purpose is supposedly about educating women to better defend themselves, but literally the first website I found shopping around for stun guns had more information than they did. And they're supposed to be the ones helping other women out. But back to Sabre, though the product was out of stock on their website at the time I was looking at it, uh, it was the closest I could compare to Damsel's. I found their Amazon store and holy shit, it is so much less expensive. And I'm not talking by a few dollars either. These stun guns are like $20 and they have fantastic reviews. Even if you figure it may cost a few more dollars if you bought it from their website, retail with shipping, it's still not even half the price of Damsel's. I love how Damsel talks about the importance of their products and how it's experiencing freedom, empowerment, and then charges you $80 when other companies will charge you $20. Now, don't get me wrong. There's other companies out there with professional taser equipment that costs far more than $80. Tasers can easily floor someone from a distance, whereas stun guns are a direct contact weapon, such as prongs and stuff. So that you, like, you know, you have to touch someone with them. 
But for these handheld stun guns, like what Damsel sells everywhere from Brickhouse Security to Amazon to Viper Tech to Police Mart to freaking swordsknivesanddaggers.com sells comparable products for a quarter of the price. So how exactly is it empowering to sell self-defense equipment for that much money? Just asking here. These days with the pandemic and everything, it feels like online shopping is really the only kind of shopping we do. And that's where today's sponsor, Honey, is coming in. That was a great segue into today's ad, wasn't it? I know. But what is Honey? Well, it's the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. Honey is basically your online shopping best friend. And it's super easy. You just get Honey on your computer for free with like two easy clicks. And then when you're checking out on one of its over 30,000 supported sites, Honey just pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons and it does the work for you. And if Honey does find working codes, it will apply the best one to your cart to make sure that you save the most money. And Honey has found it's over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings, which that's bananas. And Honey supports all kinds of retailers from tech to gaming, to fashion, even to food delivery, which that's very nice considering the times we live in right now. So if you have a computer, Honey really just should be on it. It's free and works with whatever browser you want to use. You can get Honey today for free by going to joinhoney.com slash MLM. Again, joinhoney.com slash MLM. And thank you, Honey, for supporting today's episode. Then there's the question of, does it work? An $80 stun gun better be fantastic, right? Maybe it's more durable, delivers more of a charge, has a longer battery life. Maybe it's, you know, Gucci or the supreme of self-defense. Like, I don't know. So I looked up a few people messing with it and nope, it's a super cheap plasticky garbage. One YouTuber called FinTech Repair Shop forced one of Damsel's stun guns open and called it dangerous and an unsafe fire risk. Again, I'm not a stun gun master expert research speaker here about how they work exactly. But when he opened it up and there was literally masking tape inside keeping shit together, I'm not gonna pretend like I understand, but that doesn't look normal. And in fact, FinTech Repair Shop also said that this has to be one of the worst electronic work I've ever seen. He calls it sketchy with sketchy circuits and sketchy masking tape. He says it wouldn't bother him so much if it weren't for the fact that you're plugging it into the wall, but he's apparently not the only one. Brian Cruz also calls it toy-like and highly defective and explains that the first one he got had issues with the power switch and no surprise, but the replacement he got had a collapsed charge port, so it's not chargeable. I feel like these kinds of issues would be forgivable with a cheap stun gun, like cheap plastic, you know, like you get what you pay for kind of thing. But to have a brand new product not work twice in a row and with faulty wiring, that's pretty frustrating. Other anti-MLMers have gone on rants about how this isn't empowering and situational awareness and actual self-defense courses are much more valuable than a cheap piece of plastic in your pocket. And I mean, I can't really disagree with that one. I think if Damsel were offering courses about how to protect yourself using their products, then maybe that would be a little bit better, but they don't do that, obviously. All they're doing right now is offering cheap plastic at an extremely high cost and selling that label as being empowering because it's for women. Their pepper sprays are also overpriced and they have whistle necklaces for 40 fucking dollars. $40 for a whistle. Jesus Christ, that's shady as shit. And their t-shirts that they have, like their merch or whatever says coffee, Jesus, and pepper spray. Like, damn, that's super tacky. I don't care if you love coffee, Jesus, pepper spray, or the magical combination of the three that would make you wanna purchase such a shirt. Like, you do you. But the pushing empowerment idea down women's throats is so trashy when it couldn't be clearer from 10 minutes on their website that this is all about money and nothing to do with women. Now, I don't want to say that this is the absolute worst MLM because of their potentially dangerous cheap stun guns. As much as their business model and supposed messages of empowerment rubs me the wrong way, there's a lot more to this company. Some of it is good, but as per usual, some more of it is obviously terrible. 
Now, as for the good, they put thought into the charities that they donate to, like Destiny Rescue, Women's and Children's Alliance, Rain, and far more than Unique or other MLMs I've seen actually do. So I obviously want to give them credit for that, even though it's kind of pathetic that I'm congratulating an MLM for knowing how to donate to the like appropriate charities. Like that's that's how low the bar has gotten. But anyway, as for the negative, Damsel in Defense apparently had a products for him line and I don't see it on their website as of right now, but there's a photo on the economic secretariat that shows, and I'm not even kidding, a blue and black stun gun. It's like the opposite of the pink tax or pink washing, which I promise that is another video, but for God's sake, a stun gun doesn't need to be a gendered item. Like, are you kidding me right now? I've heard plenty of women complain about the pink tax, hell. Like I said, it's a whole video. It's a whole project we're working on here and it will happen, but you should know that stun guns for men or stun guns for women, it's bullshit. They should work the same. They even have digital defense, which is computer protection, like pick a lane. Their commercial for this is cheesy with the example of online bullying, being a kid, getting the message, hey loser, no one likes you and nothing more. And then he drops his phone. Like seriously, you have to watch the commercial for yourself to understand how absolutely cringeworthy this is, but it's just, it's incredibly strange. This is, however, the sort of basic advertisement I would expect from an MLM. So it doesn't really tell you much about the company at all. It's just these random statistics set in a concerning tone to scare you into buying the product. Damsel insists that their company is where free thinkers gather, that they are with mission, passion, family, and a home of heart. And I mean, look, even if this was the best place to work in the whole world, it's not where free thinkers gather. These Huns are selling a product that they haven't invented for a price they haven't set from a company they don't own. I'm not saying that makes a company inherently evil for having salespeople, but you wouldn't call working in retail or sales being a free thinker either. Like, it's just not. Like, hey, maybe they're free thinkers outside of work, but this spirited, empowering, independent buzzword approach isn't doing it for me. And it doesn't seem like it doesn't do it for many others either. One article from One More Cup of Coffee, I think sums up what really bothers me about Damsel pretty well. One Cup gives them more credit than I do, honestly. It's not an anti-MLM site and it's obvious by reading the article that they're not going into this with any kind of bias either. One Cup states, personally, I'm in two minds about the products that the company sells. Yes, they do have the potential to keep women safe and they might even be essential if you live in a rough neighborhood. Even with this advantage, Damsel in Defense is playing on the fears of women, making them feel like they should spend a lot of money to keep themselves and their families safe. The company often uses this idea in their marketing and there's a good chance that distributors do too. By all means, protection is important, but if you end up being paranoid about your safety, you probably end up in a worse spot than when you started. The overall approach feels manipulative to me. Now that's a major problem because many people selling MLM products end up trying to sell them to friends and to family. Do you really want to be manipulating your friends and family into spending money? And I couldn't agree more. The damsel banners say one in five women are survivors of rape, join our mission. That feels manipulative. Talking about these statistics and survivors of a sexual assault and what we can do to prevent it is important, absolutely. And I'm not saying that the talk about self-defense isn't necessary, just that it shouldn't be immediately followed by a sales pitch from an MLM. The fact is somewhere between 85 to 90% of female sexual assault victims in college know their attacker and many women, as well as men that are sexually assaulted, know their attackers well. The way that Damsel presents these products, like you'll need them for every dark street corner, isn't empowering, at least in my opinion. It's making people afraid and believing that they need to buy an $80 stun gun so that they don't become that one in five, or they won't be, as Damsel calls it, a statistic. I know I normally don't have too many anecdotal stories here, but I found this one to be particularly appropriate, especially because it's a story Damsel isn't telling. They have this little two minute clip on their site that says we're all about her and her story, but they don't say who her is. 
It's just generic line after line that they're about believing her because it makes history. I don't know any more about the company or what they stand for or what this message is supposed to even mean. They say what a difference their partner organization makes overseas while the only educational material they actually have is geared toward children. Not what these stun guns are for exactly, you know? So under their learn section, if you had any hope for that, it just has frequently asked questions and the basics of what a stun gun is. They don't even go into the same depth, not even close to what Sabre did. And they pretty much only say, this causes pain, buy it with little else. The picture damsel paints, the way they present sexual assaults in general, really bothers me. The only time I even catch a glimpse of a self-defense course is just one on their YouTube commercials for maybe half a second. So I guess you have to be a damsel hun to afford that or attend it, I don't know. I'm just not going to sell overpriced stun guns to attend a course. And again, there's nothing even saying that they have courses. This is just me making an assumption here. I'm not saying that selling overpriced stun guns is despicable and the absolute worst thing that you can do, but again, to market it as a company that cares, that wants to educate, and that's all about healing, that's when I get a little bit frustrated because it's clearly not. As for the Huns, however, Truth and Advertising found multiple cases of them misrepresenting potential earnings. Also, they're not quite as family as they mentioned, they're obviously a business. If you don't hit at least $150 every quarter, you're no longer considered active and the starter kit costs $99 to even get into this. Their baseline commission is 25%. So I guess if you've somehow managed to sell eight of these $80 stun guns a quarter, congrats, you get to stay in business. And so to no one's surprise, I'm sure, I've found very little I tolerate about this MLM. I appreciate that they donate to reputable charities, but I would much rather buy a cheaper yet equal or even higher quality stun gun myself if I need one and donate the $60 to a charity instead. Selling self-defense equipment is fine. And that's pretty much all Damsel does. The rest is just MLM Hunbot talk. With all of that being said, that's where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss out on new videos just like this one. If you wanna see more content from me, make sure to click open my description box. You're gonna find links to my second channel, my like social media, any projects I'm involved with, all that good stuff will be linked down below. So again, thank you all for watching. Love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.